How would you like it that by the end of today's video, I'm going to have you going from your usual swing that might get the ball nice and straight, but you just feel that you don't hit the ball as far as you can. We can see that one there carrying at 122 yards, but with a little drill and a simple little change in the feel of your golf swing, we're suddenly going to have you hitting the ball much more like that. And we're going to see that shot still with that nice accuracy, but the ball speed jump up, and then we can see that carry at nearly 163 yards. So potential 40 yard pickup with your irons, four clubs less into the green. Undoubtedly, if you can hit more loft in, you can have more control, get it nearer, start making some birdies, but ultimately getting those scores down. So I know what you're thinking, that is a massive change. But what's the key thing that's changed there? So it's just about how I deliver the golf club into the ball. And when I look at most golfers, from a decent setup position, there's a lot of good swing things in the swing, but back at impact, we tend to see lots of loft on the club, maybe the shaft even leaning back a little bit into impact, and it launches the ball up, but doesn't get the ball going forward enough for the loft we should be presenting. Whereas we look at the best players in the world, and their address position and their impact positions are hugely different, whereas obviously most club players would be there at address, maybe even there at impact. So too similar, but how are we gonna change that? So it ultimately comes down to what we're doing with that club face. And a lot of golfers set up really well, but during the golf swing, they allow that club face to either rotate open on the way back or certainly on the way down, it's very open. And the only way you can square that up is to flip through the bottom and present that loft. So the drill I'm gonna do is teach you how to present that club face in a much more powerful position. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna take your normal hold, get that club up in front of you like that. And instead of having that front edge straight up, I want you to close that club face maybe 10 degrees, and then reapply your hands. And as you set up to the golf ball, the first thing you'll think is, wow, that's gonna go that way. So what I would want you to do is just do a little half swing to begin with, waist height to waist height, and see what happens. And undoubtedly, you'll see that. The ball will set off left, the strike will be lovely, but we see that club face there was 12 degrees closed. So what we need to do is from that position of closing the club face, how do I need to deliver that club to make it not go left? Well, I need to feel that the hands are more in front and it almost feels like I'm taking a bit of loft off the shot. So we're gonna do that, just a little half swing and see how well we can do it to get those hands ahead and keep the loft off. So straight away, that's different. Obviously, club head speed drops off massively, but we can see ball speed at nearly 98 mile an hour, and that little swing carried 119 yards. Now, try and get your head around that. That little swing carried nearly 120, whereas the full-blooded one with the club face like that went 122. So that's huge, isn't it? So then what we're going to do is we're going to say, right, Hit lots of shots with a little swing, doing that, getting that feel. Then we're gonna start putting that feel into a slightly longer swing. So again, make sure, and, and if anything, don't be afraid to over-exaggerate that club face. So you get there, longer swing. And even though that one's going out to the right a little bit, didn't feel a full swing, but my club head speed's still very much where it would be. Ball speed at 109 launching at 19 degrees and then 150 carry. And then if you can, you might say, that's great, I can live with that. You might go, right, close that again. And can I now go full swing? Didn't get the loft off quite as well as I would have liked, but quicker club head speed, ball speed jumping 117, which for me is great. Club face was four and a half close, launching at 15, and then that 160 carry. So I know what you're thinking. 
if you pick up like that, it's kind of like, that's great, but I can't play golf kind of doing that. Potentially, yes, you could do. But I want you to understand what that's changing for you. So if we said that club face is there, so you're having to learn what this feels like on the way down, what we now need to do is say, right, okay, so once I'm in that position there with that club face square again, I need to still try and get that feel of getting that club more into that position on the way down. Now, it might feel that you have to turn that lead hand down towards the ground or the trail hand a bit more on top. But once you can get that club face in that stronger position, then you can work through. I would also say it's probably where you see majority of golfers now maybe a little bit stronger with the grip, which does promote a little bit more of that, which is good. But even if you are someone who's a bit more neutral, as long as we work on getting that feel into there, then that shaft lean happens because the body can turn out the way. So I would go back now to my normal grip and I would go through those building blocks again. Little half swing, can I get the feel? Didn't quite do it enough through the bottom, but club head speed, obviously slower. Ball speed still fine at 98. And even that little pitch there went further than the full shot before. So again, I'd say, right, felt good, felt nice, but didn't feel like I got back to impact. So one little swing again. And that felt absolutely incredible. 73 mile an hour, 101 ball speed, launching at 16 and 136. So even for a lot of guys, when I do this face to face, a lot of guys say, I could just go and play with that swing and still hit it further and still be nice and accurate. Yes, you could. I'm not saying you shouldn't build those swing lengths in. So we're going to go what would feel a bit more three quarter now, but try to get that feel through the bottom. That was probably a little bit closer to my full swing, to be fair. But 84 mile an hour club speed, ball speed 112, low point ahead, clubs hitting down more, launching at 20 and 153. Like I said, that was closer to my full one, but wasn't actually my full one. So again, I'd get that little half swing for me is the good practice. Then into the full swing and try and replicate that sensation. And it does feel so powerful. Still tons of control. 86 mile an hour club speed. Ball speed at 118. Launching at 18 degrees. And 162 yards carry. So even there, we saw for me, that's a 40 yard pickup. Now it might be a little bit different for you guys, but remember if you're somebody who has that club face coming in open and has to kind of stall the body and try and square up this way, you're always gonna be inconsistent with accuracy, but you're always gonna be a lot shorter with your distance than you feel you should be. So do that drill, close that club face down, get the feel that you're keeping the loft off and the hands ahead. Then when you move back to your normal grip, get that sensation more so that you can get that impact position and then build it into the full swing. But remember, down here at impact with the golf ball is what it's all about. And as good as other positions in our swing might be, if we're not good at this position and get this more like the best players in the world, you're never gonna hit the shots like them. So work on that drill few minutes every day, and I guarantee that will absolutely take your ball striking and distance to a whole new level.